Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. This one I think is very important. This is a basic, if you leave calculus and you can't work this problem, I have not done my job. Okay, this is important. We want to be able to find the equation of a tangent line to a graph given information about its slope. In this case, they, yes, they give the slope in a tricky way, but you can do this. Do you know what it means to have a slope? Same slope, right? So we want the same slope, 2y plus x equals 6. So how do we identify the slope of 2y plus x equals 6? Yeah, we solve for y. So that's what we're going to do first here. So to get the slope, we're going to isolate y. So I have 2y equals 6 minus x dividing by 2. Actually, I should write it as negative x plus 6. Dividing by 2, we have y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. So this is just some line, right? Just some line. But what we care about is what it means to be parallel to this line. So the slope of this line is negative 1 half. We want our tangent lines to have that slope. So what we want is... How do we find the slope of a tangent line? Derivative. We want f prime of x to be equal to negative 1 half. We want to find the x values where that happens. Let's find f prime of x. To find f prime of x, we definitely need to use quotient rule. Good. So quotient rule, we're going to have the top function. We're going to have the bottom function. The bottom function times the derivative of the top. So x minus 1 times 1 minus the top, x plus 1, times the derivative of the bottom, which is also 1. That's nice. Over the bottom squared, x minus 1 squared. So f prime of x is going to be, let's see, x minus 1 minus x minus 1. Okay, so that's going to be negative 2 over x minus 1 squared. Find where it equals negative 1 half. Okay, so we're going to say where is the slope, the derivative of the tangent line, I mean the derivative of the function is the slope of the tangent line. Where is that negative 1 half? So negative 2 over x minus 1 squared is our formula for slope. We want to find what x values make it turn out to be negative 1 half. So we have a little rational equation to solve. It's actually a proportion. So we can cross multiply. We have 4 equals x minus 1 squared. Now we're going to use the square root property, right? So x minus 1 squared is 4, so x minus 1 must be plus or minus 2. two. Good. Okay, so we're going to have x either equals positive 2 plus 1, which is 3, or negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. So at either of these values, supposedly that would equal negative 1 half. You do have to be careful that we're not including any extraneous values, but we're not because what's not allowed, x is not allowed to be 1. We didn't get 1, so we're good to go. We don't put them, we do need to find the equation of the tangent line, but how do we do that? Okay, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. We have a slope, we have an x, we need y and b. y we can find by doing what? Plugging back into the function. So we have two different x values. When x is 3, y is f of 3, which in this case is 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 1. That's 4 over 2 or 2. This tells you that the function, the original function, and its tangent line at that point go through the point x is 3 and y is 2. Excuse me. Okay. Now, uh, when x is negative 1, y is f of negative 1, which is equal to 0. Negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 minus 1 is just going to be 0. It would be negative 1, 0. Okay, so we have two tangent, but at both of these points, the slope of the tangent line is what? Yeah, that's why we found them. Yeah, so we use these to get the equation plugging into y equals mx plus b. Let's start with the point 3, 2. So 2 equals negative 1 half times 3 plus b. We get b is equal to 7 halves. So we just found the equation of one tangent line. y equals 
negative one half x plus seven halves. Okay, that's one of them. And now let's find the one for negative one zero. Plugging into y equals mx plus b again, what will I write? Zero equals negative one half times negative one plus b, good. So that means b is negative one half, good. Okay, now plugging back in, y equals negative one half x minus one half. Okay, so we have our two equations of tangent lines. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.